Hi, Tim here from Proclaim AV, and today we're going to talk about running audio over Cat6. Let's check it out. So today I'm not talking about running digital audio over Cat6, I'm talking about running analog audio over Cat6. So several um, companies are making these converter boxes where you have four um, XLRs here on this side, and then on this side is a box, they all go into this box, and um, there is an RJ45 plug. RJ45 is a type of plug that you use for um, Ethernet cable or network cable. So um, how does this work? Well, let me disclaim and say this doesn't plug into the back of your mixer um, or anything like that. You have to just use two converter boxes and run the cable between them. It doesn't plug into your network. It's not a network device. Um, it is entirely passive. And um, so it's important to know not to use just a standard um, cat six cable um although it will plug in to the box um it's not shielded and with analog audio shielding is really important we're going to demonstrate that in a minute but what you want to use is a shielded cat six and this one is terminated in what's called EtherCon. It is a type of connector where it looks like an XLR, really, um, but inside is an Ethernet jack here, and we'll show you um, a close-up picture. And then that just plugs into um, the box that we have here, like so. Now, the important part about this is that this has shielding so for all of your XLR cables, pin one is your ground, which connects to your shield. Well, since there's only one shield, these are all sharing a shield. The other important thing is, is if you don't use a shielded cable, microphones that need phantom power won't be able to get power uh, because that runs on pin one of XLR. And so uh, if you're gonna use phantom power, you're gonna have to use a shielded cable. You'll notice they don't all have to have this EtherCon connection. You can get shielded cable that just has a metal outside jacket. Here's a picture of what that looks like. And then you'll notice that on the inside of this um, uh, talent converter box, on the sides are little grounding tabs on the sides of the connector and those need to touch the metal of a metal RJ45 connector and that will give you a grounded connection. So there you go. Let's do some testing and see what happens. Okay, so here's our test setup right now. Um, we've got all our channels from this converter that are going into the little Yamaha uh, MG. And then we've got a couple microphones here plugged into the um, converter. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to um, mute my regular microphone and then I'll talk first on the um, SM58 and then on the condenser, so hang on. Okay, so here we are on the SM58 and you can see that signal is getting into my Yamaha board. Um, so that's the SM58. We're going over the, the talent extender. So stand by, let's try the other one. And here is the, um, AT2020. So we're going to talk in there, get some signal coming in and you can hear that things are sounding great over this extender without any trouble. Now, the thing we're going to do next is replace the proper shielded um, Cat6 with just a Cat6 jumper sitting over here. So let's try that.
Well, that's absolutely terrible. So you can see how important it is. We're still getting audio, but it's, you can see how important it is to have a properly shielded cable um, instead of just running a regular Cat 5. Um, we're getting all kinds of noise on this. Oh, well, wow, that's a lot better. So um, you can see why it's important to run the shielded um, Cat 6 or Cat 5 and not unshielded Cat 6 or Cat 5. You definitely want some shielding on there. So that was interesting. And some of you are saying, well, Tim, why does this matter? Why wouldn't I just run regular mic lines and solder connectors on them? Sure, that'd be great. But for some of you, you don't want to solder anything. You want to run some mic lines. This is all pre-terminated. Plugs are pre-terminated. This cable, you can buy pre-terminated cable. That's what this is. And all you got to do is be able to run the cable from point A to point B. Plug that guy in. And you've got connectors. So there's no soldering or anything or what pin goes to what. It's just plug and play. Now, I've recently run my own uh, Shielded Cat 6 in my auditorium at my church. And for two reasons. One, I'm adding four analog mic lines for Christmas. Um, and two, uh, a future digital upgrade is in our future. So the nice thing about running an EtherCon cable um, with this Shielded and the EtherCon connector is that's going to work with everybody's digital stage box that works with digital mixing platforms. So now instead of four analog channels, if I start using it as a data cable, which is what it is, um, then I could have 48 digital channels or however many my digital mixing platform will let me push over a single Cat6 cable. That's awesome. So for me, it's not only a temporary upgrade for an older system, but it is me getting ready for an upgrade to a newer digital system in the future. Anyway, I hope this has been a helpful video and thanks for watching.